if a sin theta plus b cos theta equals to c then the value of a cos theta minus b sin theta is so one equation has been given to us which is a sin theta plus b cos theta that is equal to c then what is the value of a cos theta minus b sin theta now look at this a sin theta plus b cos theta equals c uh, I, i'll explain you the regular method first and then i'll give you the smart way of solving it right i mean many of you have skipped it without realizing that you already know how to solve this question in a smart way so let, let, let's follow the regular method first right let, let me square it on both the sides let's square it on both the sides so what do we get a sin theta plus b cos theta whole square so a square sin square theta plus b squared cos square theta plus 2ab sin theta cos theta equals to c square yes or no x plus y whole square so x square plus y square plus 2xy so 2 a into b sin theta cos theta right i mean 2 a sin theta into b cos theta is 2 a b sin theta cos theta right hand side anyway c becomes c square now can you take sin square theta as 1 minus cos square theta yes so this is like a square into 1 minus cos square theta plus b square into cos square theta can be taken as 1 minus sin square theta yes so 1 minus sin square theta plus 2 a b sin theta cos theta which is equal to c squared now try and look at this uh, what I would do is uh, a square into 1 is a square b square into 1 is b square and the c square let's take it on the other side so what do we get a square plus b square minus c square so a squared plus b squared minus c squared equals to now take the other terms on the other side what do we have minus a square cos square theta so take it to the other side it becomes plus a square cos square theta we have minus b square sin square theta then goes to the other side becomes plus b square sin square theta plus 2ab sin theta cos theta goes to the other side becomes minus 2ab sin theta cos theta yeah now simplify again i will take it as a square plus b square minus c square on the left hand side this is equal to now try and observe these terms this is like x square plus y squared minus 2xy x is equal to a cos theta y equals to b sin theta so x squared y squared minus 2a cos theta b sin theta so 2xy so this is like x square plus y square minus 2xy is x minus y whole square so it can be taken as a cos theta a cos theta minus b sin theta whole square yes or no yes and that's what is required here you see a cos theta minus b sin theta so from this we can now conclude that a cos theta minus b sin theta takes square root on both the sides right so you know we'll take square root on the sides and it becomes root over a squared plus b squared minus c squared of course plus or minus yeah taking square root on both the sides so plus or minus root over because when you square it plus or minus will anyway get eliminated we'll have a square plus b square minus c square and this also is squared so which option mm, we want a square plus b square minus c square a square plus b square minus c square a square plus b square minus c square is option four and that's your answer option four easy one right now assuming that you don't get this idea traditional method this is the traditional method so can we do something else yes we can do something else what is that you already know that substitution smart method substitution now you might be wondering how do we substitute how do we substitute and what do we substitute let me explain you explain you the substitution method in a different color simple we know that a sin theta plus b cos theta equals to c can you take any value of theta yes because no condition has been given on theta there is there any condition given for theta no so let's take any value for theta right like for example let's take uh, theta equals to 90 and again you have to be smart in the way you choose your value right theta equals to 90 so what happens we'll get a into 1 plus b into 0 equals to c so our conclusion is a is equal to c if theta is 90 a is equal to c and b anyway gets eliminated here now same theta has to be substituted in the given expression as well same theta has to be substituted in the given expression as well so what do we get substitute now the expression is a cos theta minus b sin theta so a into cos 90 is 0 minus b into sin 90 b into sin 90 is 1 so it is equal to minus b so basically our result should be minus b you're able to follow remember theta that we assumed was 90 one point that we found out was a is equal to c by taking theta equals to 90 using the given equation and the expression given in the question results in minus b when theta is 90 so this is 0 this is 1 so 0 minus 
b into 1 minus b. So basically, he is asking us to find out what is the value of a cos theta minus b sin theta. The value of a cos theta minus b sin theta is what? Minus b. The value of a cos theta minus b sin theta according to this calculation is equal to minus b. So we should now substitute the same theta in the options and find out which option gives us minus b. But then if you look at the options, theta is not used at all. No problem. Theta is not used. So what do we substitute? We substitute a equals to c. Because for that theta equals to 90, we got a equals to t, a equals to c. So substitute a equals to c in all the options and see which option gives you minus b. Substitute a equals to c in all the options and see which option gives you minus b. So if I substitute a equals to c, what happens? This a squared and c squared will get cancelled. a squared and minus c squared gets cancelled. a is equal to c. But what are we left with? Plus or minus root over minus b square. See, root over minus b square cannot be evaluated, right? So this gets eliminated. Substitute a equals to c. If I substitute a equals to c, what do we get? a squared plus c remains a square, right? I mean, c also is a. So a square plus a square, 2a square minus b square. No, that is not resulting in minus b, right? We are getting 2a square minus b square and root eliminated. Look at option 3. Minus a square plus c square gets cancelled. Yeah, because a is equal to c. Remember, a is equal to c. So minus a square plus a square gets cancelled. What are we left with? Root over b square. Root over b square is what? root over b square is b plus or minus b. So minus b is available. This is giving us minus b. Plus b is there, minus b is also there. So plus or minus b. Option says it can be plus b or minus b. I am getting minus b. So option 3 is possible. But can you mark that as answer? No. You have to verify the other options as well. Verify other option. If you substitute a equals to c in option 4, again a square and c square gets cancelled. a is equal to c. So a square minus c square gets cancelled. Root over b square. Root over b square is b. So this also is giving us plus or minus b. So option 3 is possible, option 4 also is possible. Now what do we do? Now you are in a dilemma, should I mark option 3 or option 4? We are not able to decide. What we are sure about is option 1 and option 2 not being the correct answers. But option 3 and option 4 both can be the correct answers. Yeah, I mean one of these has to be the correct answer. Now what you have to do is because theta equals to 90 degrees has eliminated two of the options, substitute some other value of theta now. Maybe substitute theta equals to 0. By taking theta equals to 0, again the same analysis has to be done. One more option will get eliminated somehow. And then that can be taken as an answer. So I am not completing the process now. You have few more steps here. Right? One verification is theta equals to 90. Two options got eliminated. Now take theta equals to 0. See, theta can be any value. The question has not given any condition on theta. Right? He says a sin theta plus b cos theta should be c. Let me take theta equals to 0. Now this time what happens? Sin 0 will become 0. So we will get b equals to c. We will get b equals to c. You able to follow? And then finally, you know, same process has to be continued. Now, if you if you go by symmetry, b is equal to c. So basically, in the equation, b and c should get cancelled. In option 3, do you think b and c will get cancelled? b equal to c means this will give us 2b square. No. Here, b and c will get cancelled. You see, b square minus c square will get cancelled. And we will get with a. So there what happens is, if you take b equals to c, you will get the final result as minus a or plus a. Here we don't get plus a, so option 3 gets eliminated. Option 4 is the answer. I mean, I have done the verification for theta equals to 0 mentally. You also can do that. I mean, you got to understand that b and c have to get cancelled. b and c are getting cancelled in only in option 4. Don't verify option 1 and option 2. Option 1 and option 2 are already eliminated. No point in checking that again. Only check option 3 and option 4. So by checking, we find that option 3 goes wrong. And hence, option 4 is the answer. So substitution method is a smart way of doing it, which you already knew. Right? I am sure not everybody will get this idea in the exam. But this is simple. This we have discussed multiple times. So like I always say, most of the questions from trigonometry can be solved using substitution. You have to be smart enough to apply that.